So g'day, how you going? My name is Glenn, and now have a look at this hillside. If you're not too sure what this is. So I did try to choose a quiet location, uh, but obviously there's lots of traffic coming now. So this is the Lovely Banks Monocline. Or if you want to term it, a failed fault system. So this is down faulted, so up there is high land. That's about 70 meters, and here is the actual low elevation. So as you can see, they're using it for wheat. And over in that field, they're using it for housing. So if we can talk about this just a little bit. So I wish to make a series of the actual uh, Port Phillip sunk clan. So here's the actual start of the sunk clan. Obviously, it's been sunk. And this is more like a bench, benching of the actual sunk land. Because over in the west, we have the Rosalie Fault, which rises up about 600 metres or so. So it's like you have a bench up there. Come down near your number bench, and if you go that way, you have uh, other benches as well. It's hard to find a quiet place where you can talk about the actual geology. So, the Sunklands is to the east, which is where the housing is. And to the west, we have land that's either been risen or what. So, the actual geology is no. Okay, so they're not really sure about the actual geology. Uh, it, why this has been become a monocline. The age date is about, they say one or two million years. The basalt lavas which cover this hillside are about one and a half million years and up north you have uh, actual volcanoes. So this is the monocline. Okay, so that's the Lovely Banks monocline. It goes for, I think about 100 kilometers north. In the south it rises about 70 meters. In the north it rises only 15. And so here we have a little graph or whatever. This is the information that I'll put on the actual, uh, that I found. So in the north, we've got 10 to 15 meters rise. In the south, 70 meters. Gradient, three to 15%. Okay, it's roughly placed, the scenic quaternary. It's got newer volcanics. Uh, the Anarchy's up north, for one and a half million years old. And this is what a monocline looks like you might have a fault system underneath which has moved which has caused one side to go down uh, relative to the other uh, but that's that's debated and here we have the length of the actual material so if it's 70 meters and 15 degrees it should be 261 meters long and then we have if it's only three degrees it should be 1.3 kilometers and if it's 15 degrees, the 10 meters high should only be 37. So roughly it's about 200. But this would have a lot of uh, material down below. So down below here, we have a lot of uh, loose material that's been eroded from the top. So this could have been a lot higher in the past than the 70 meters that we see here. Uh, could have been a hundred meters. We don't know so that's why they don't know the actual age of it Plus they can't do any relative or absolute dating on this system uh, Except for the actual basalt, the, but the basalt could have been here in the first place and Well in these videos I would like to